like really pay attention to the opportunities he needs to call out. Yeah. Like, because when I play against Nut, Nut will on his, on those power shields that Eli was getting, he was getting the power shields, but he wasn't really doing anything. He needed power shield, wave dash out F to them, wave dash out boost grab, wave dash out jump read, something. No, don't just like take your two damage and then yeah. reset. There's like, definitely a couple of opportunities where like Eli had an opportunity to get like a grab to like get a grab and get like a big fall off of it, but he was just like wanted to pick like a always like pick like a safer option. Like, yeah. Try to like yeah. not go for like anything as He was playing a very defensive RPS. Yeah, exactly. And it did rely a lot off like good scrap game once uh, the Falco whips near him. And you know it, it barely didn't work out, but it still looks like it could work out. Yeah, totally. He just needs to mix in just a little bit more of those colors. And at Cliche, you need to hit those edge guards, buddy. Yeah. Like, no, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't see, like, one, like, hard edge guard that he hit. Yeah. Like, he hit yeah. the easy ones, the hard ones. I didn't see a single one. Man, that, like, uh, one edge guard, though, that Eli missed on, like, that game five, like, two yeah. to two stocks, that was, like, huge. Like, yeah. absolutely huge. I thought that Cliche would be dead there. It would have been a it would be a hard game to be back. No, because, like... At that spot, it kind of looks like Falco can't make it back. But Falco can make it back to stage, he can go high. And that's like, Sheik in that spot can't really cover both. Like, back air is really big. But like, just the, the scenario the up B was in, it was kind of like, I'm sure back air can cover both, but in that, it was hard. You had to be It was a tight. very hard beat situation, yeah. for sure. All right, we got Steach and Q. So, okay. Steach, number two seed of this tournament. Yeah, Fox Steach. Fox, really solid player. Q, probably best unranked Marth right now. Uh, yeah. Solid yeah. contender, solid I, contender for sure. Yeah. Definitely beat the other unranked Marth that was pretty good to make top 32 winners. Yeah, Moscow Mitch. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, honestly, to me, Siege is one of the favorites of the tournament. And, you, you, have, know, you have money on him for me. Oh, yeah, I have money on I, I got some money. But, uh, I, I would say, uh, Steach looked pretty shaky when I saw him earlier. Okay, he was playing cards. cards. Uh, Peach player. He was, he was pretty good. Um, cards is good. Yeah, uh, Steach looked a little shaky, so. Okay, oh, starts up the top. Okay. Yeah, I don't want him going anymore. Bringing some spice to this Arcadian match. I like it. Uh, you know, honestly, in an Arcadian, these are the tournaments that happen once a year, bro. Make this shit count. And if you think you can tilt him, then fucking tilt him, bro. <laughs> tilt his ass. Like, I love it, bro. I don't really think Q's the kind of player to get to him typically. He's, he's very cool coming kind of collector. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I've talked to Q a lot. He was definitely a big, big grinder, man. And a mental grinder. I think that's a jump. Yeah, no jump. Uh, this is a hard one. Oh, once, you, once you send him up like that, it's hard. Yeah, he Because then you're going to juggle him to high percent, and you don't really want that. You need to take him off the stage he once he has no jump. Sometimes it's like better to hit her with a weaker move, I feel. Yeah, like, like yeah. weak fair. Though. No, yeah, I, I super don't. agree. I super agree. To like make it sure they're lower and not higher up because you have more recovery next time. Oh, great call there by yeah. Steve. It's hard to the, the job. The, the new mayor back on the stage. Yeah. Everyone does it until you show them that you're exactly, not going to Exactly, yeah. 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 What the an box. angle! The box. That was crazy. Oh Damn. my god, that was invincible. I like the light shield usage. Steve is really good at putting up light shield in good spots. Oh yeah, yeah If you pay attention, he's really good at utilizing it. There. You could have got both. Yeah, this is a really bad spot for you right now. Like literally every little, uh, every hit that he's getting. I'm not is gonna just lie, like, man. I, I I don't want to gas Siege up too much, but he's a very complete player. I've seen him against a lot of high level players. Like he's honestly very well rounded. He's yeah, very, stable, really very stable. Very stable player. Definitely he comes in. Player. I've talked to him a lot. He has a lot of game plans, and like he goes into every player matchup with a different game plan. And he sticks to his game plans, man. Not very volatile play, and it really pays dividends, honestly. Yeah, like, I've never seen him choose, like, an option that I was like, oh, I'm not sure if that was the correct option. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's always choosing good options. And honestly, what would you say his weakness is? It's, like, it's hard to say. He's playing a lot more than I um, He can be predictable. Yeah. That's really what it comes down to. But he's doing such good RPS anyways that... It's still, it's still hard to deal with, and he, he really pushes your execution, right? But uh, he can be predictable on his rhythms, and we'll see, uh, you know, if Q can start to make some adaptations, you know, maybe take him to FD, get a little more comfortable. Yeah, because this um, game's looking really lost. 
yeah, uh, that would probably be the biggest weakness. Uh, he has a good mindset towards the game. He doesn't usually get too tilted, so... We'll see, though, as the tournament progresses. Yeah, Pretty yeah, much, right. Josh. Speed spot up immediate rush rush smash, like, clean. Yeah, man. Like, this guy's a threat. Yeah, Steve's just looking clean, Number two seed. Huh? Oh, this guy came to play. We'll see, uh, you know, what Q can do on an FD counter kind of card, probably. Maybe yeah. Stadium, I don't know. Lamar sometimes likes Stadium more. I was but. talking to Q the other day, last Verdugo, and I just told him, man, like, I feel like you need to make it to the next level, just to push your punishes, man. Yeah. No, definitely. I, I actually I actually told that advice to a lot of the Arcadians today. I told them, you know, there's a lot of things you could go into each set with, but just try to make sure you hit hard. Because if you don't hit hard... It doesn't matter how much you outplay them. Exactly. You, you, you have to hit hard. If, if you're on hard. top of that, like, there's literally no reason to, like, there's no reason to respect someone's neutral if they're yeah. not hitting hard. Yeah. Like, yeah. but if you start hitting hard, they start respecting you. They start fearing you. Suddenly, That's all exactly these, like, mix-ups that, like, they aren't, that they are going, they can't ignore them anymore. Yeah. Um, like, Q, Q kind of putting up the combos a little bit. He dropped one, but... I like the combo like too barely so far. Missed. Yeah, yeah, I like the combo too so far. Yeah. It's good looks. So uh, this is like really the, the hard part is that he needs to close his socket. Oh yeah. That's a read. Steach is also good at a... Uh... Dude, he's so good at undershoot, overshoot. Oh yeah. Like, dude, he's just winning every single one. Undershoot drill, clipped him. He knew he couldn't get a combo quite sick. He overshot the up smash. Then like, shot him on his way down. Q lands, but then he overshoots the down tilt. Like, he's just winning all these overshoot, undershoot mix ups. Like, yeah. Q tried to play the other What a combo, you know, this, man. This what a combo. And you know, the thing yeah. is that this game started off pretty close and looking good for Q, but now he's down. Two songs here. Yeah. Same yeah. He's still on the same stock, exactly. Yeah, so he's just also really good at holding a stock when he's high percent. It doesn't really matter the matchup, I've noticed it. He'll start shielding more, he'll start really making you approach. And he's got that yeah. box DI. Yeah, dude. He's got the boxy eye, he's got the box angles. And, and, and he's really clean with it, too. Look at that! Oh, like, that. Like, oh. You can't take that on controller! <laughs> <laughs> Man. Oh my god. Steve is just holding the stock, bro. That actually is another important part of like the uh, hard like chain grab like foundation. It's like you get your up there, you get your up there, you get your up there. But how do you finish the song? How do you finish the song exactly? That's why I was telling you, uh, it's important. Like you get the fox with no jump, but you need to take him horizontally off the stage. Yeah, exactly. Get him into an edge guard. Otherwise, it really gets annoying for the mark. Sage is really good at sharking the, the yeah, he, Mars in the yeah, air. I, I, he's looking so good. He's looking like a top player, like no I, I want to see Q uh, drift to ledge more though from the air. This he's been trying to fight just going straight down. He needs to try to find his way to the ledge when he's stuck high here. Yeah. Slowly inch yourself back to ledge. That's a really good mix that he needs to incorporate. Because when you're up, when like you're fading back to edge, it's way riskier for Fox to try and shark you. Yeah, Definitely. No, exactly. But Reverse then the problem, city, then the problem is you're on the edge. Yeah, yeah. then it becomes a question of how good you are on the ledge. Yeah. But I've seen Q exhibit like the hack stash, as you know. So he doesn't seem to be a slouch on the edge. Yeah, no. Okay, nice. All right, you switched to the stadium. Wanted to change the scenery. Still a really good stage for Mars. Nice. That was a really good grab. You read him trying to underscore. Under yeah. I think, I don't know what I'm but it was a good grab. I, I like that Q's getting more tighter and neutral. Like, yeah. he, he's really respecting that Steve's timings have been really nice to call uh, his deep dashbacks. And yeah, Q's just been a little more tight, just a little snappier. That's really critical. Oh, wow. I don't like the option too much. Kind of. Well, that narrow doesn't really lead to an edge guard and send him to the other side of the stage. No, like, that's what we were saying. When we watch Steve, we don't see an option. We, he doesn't pick up and we're like, ah, I'm not sure about that option. Oh, yeah. Very good in time. Very yeah, good time. Very, very not on a oh, no. Using no. He's very no. present. Using the correct yeah. moves in the yeah. correct situation. It's really important. That's important, too. It's easy to get stuck in, like, your own play style. But then not notice exactly what, what your opponent's actually showing. A lot of people will just keep playing how they normally play, 
and then they'll go autopilot mode because of it. But they won't know that because they're not paying enough attention to like, what is my opponent actually doing right now? Like, honestly, in these arcade games, the player who has the best game plan or can adapt to the best game plan. And it's just, it looks like it's just happening again. Yeah. It's, it's the I, same I, story been, every has single Has it been 143 yeah. every time? Yeah. I swear it I've actually has been 143. I feel like I've seen 143 a lot every time. What could that mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, there we are. He cleans it up finally, but like... Damn, he, he read the dash through there. He's like, I'm invincible. You have to play a mix-up here. That was clean. Well, he doesn't get the... He doesn't get the follow -up. Oh, okay. Nice grab. Oh. Kind of messed up his dash there, though. Yeah. Do you want, like, a pivot up smash? Or maybe, like, want, like, a shield drop up there? Let her know. Wow. Really smart going for down throw attack chase before setting up the right percent for up throw up there. Really nice. I like the down throw on the edge there, because you has to DI in, or he gets thrown off the stage. And then you have to, if you're going to attack it, you have to take the hard. Imagine if Fox could react to attack chase with you. <laughs> I would quit the game. I would definitely, uh... Maybe would be kind of mess up uh, a character who has such a strong neutral and, uh... Strong on stage presence just also could just kill you off of your grab. He, he's desperate for something, he's man. He's just not... Trying to make something happen. I respect it, man. You gotta die playing for more mix-ups. Anything you have deep in your bag, try to pull it out. That was, that was a brutal set, I've been, I've been out close. Yeah, just a little bit, but... You know, Q still showed some good shit. I mean, Q's good. He had He's good ideas, me. good intents. Yeah. You know, Stage is just kind of on another level yeah. right sure. now. I have At least right now in this moment. Yeah. Right Stage there in that play. set, that looked like... I don't know. He, that, that Fox beats, like, almost every Marth in the world. Yeah. That was just really good Fox Marth for Fox. I want to see the bracket actually. Yeah, I want to see losers. Yeah, I want to see what kind of matches. I want to see what matches are going on that we're not able to watch. I've heard people get hyped in, you know, various parts of the 